this is session 25 of Apache Edge course for beginners. In this session, we will see quota policy in action. Let's flip to Google Chrome browser and log in into Apache Edge UI. And once you log in, uh, click on AP proxies under develop tab, which will populate all the AP proxies which we have created already. And here, if you could see, AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been using in our course so far. So let's use the same AP proxy in this session as well. So let's click on it. And here we have uh, two proxy endpoints. Uh, for this demo, let's create up a new proxy endpoint. So in order to do that, let's navigate to develop tab. And to create up a new proxy endpoint in the proxy endpoint section, just click on plus icon and provide the name of our proxy endpoint so i'm going to name this uh, endpoint as mock iphone api so let's add and this has added our uh, proxy endpoint and we would need our uh, target endpoint as well so let's also add target endpoint for our proxy endpoint so let's click plus icon over here and provide the name of our target endpoint I'm naming our target endpoint as mock iPhone API iPhone target. So let's click. And this has added our target uh, endpoint as well. So uh, here we'll have to provide our actual endpoint URL. So in this uh, session for demo, let's use uh, apg mock API. So let's get that URL apg mock API. let's get that link and here if you could see we have a lot of uh, more kpis url so let's copy any one of the url and let's provide it here and before that let's try to access this and let's see what we get so it says hello guest all right so we have provided our uh, url that is our endpoint url in the target endpoint section and we also uh, need to call our target endpoint from our proxy endpoint so let's copy the name of our target endpoint and provide it in the proxy endpoint section so as of now it is pointing to default target endpoint so we have created a new uh, target endpoint for this proxy endpoint so let's provide that and let's also make a secure version of our proxy endpoint so the difference between default and secure is uh, both http and http yes versions of our proxy endpoints would be available all right so let's also have uh, some uh, checks for our uh, endpoint uh, we'll have uh, you know uh, verification of API and we'll have path for our endpoint so let's also add that so I'm going to add that in the preflow section of our proxy endpoint in the preflow section add up a step and provide the name so first we need to uh, verify the api key uh, when the request is made to our proxy endpoint so we have already created up a verify api key policy so let's use the same policy name and refer the policy here in case if you are new to these policies verify api key policies i would recommend you to watch our earlier video sessions all right so let's copy the uh, policy name and provide the policy name here let's also add one more step and here we would need to uh, refer quota policy 
so we'll add a quota policy and we'll provide the name of the quota policy here and let's also have a condition and condition we are going to keep condition like this in case if you are new to uh, conditions i would recommend you to watch our uh, early sessions we have discussed all this in our earlier session so in case if you haven't watched those sessions i would recommend you to watch before proceeding with this video and i'm going to uh, you know have this as mock so uh, when the request contains the text mock then this condition would get executed and that's when we want to have uh, the quota policy executed in other words that's when we want to restrict the access and allow only the limited number of access to this endpoint all right the request verb has to be get because we are going to uh, we are not um, posting anything we are just going to access our endpoint so which is a get verb all right now let's try to create up a quota policy in order to add uh, new policies under policy section click on plus icon and look for quota policy and provide the name of quota policy so i'm going to name this as q restrict access so let's copy the uh, name of the policy and let's add it so here get rid of all the unnecessary uh, elements uh, from the policy and also uh, get rid of this type as calendar we'll see uh, this type in the uh, upcoming video session uh, for now let's get rid of all these unnecessary elements from here and also this is not required and counter if also not required we'll discuss about this in the uh, upcoming uh, session so for now let's get rid of these unnecessary uh, attributes from the element also ref from the interval all right so in this session uh, i'm making uh, the count as five that is i'm going to allow only five requests for a minute so i'm going to provide the time unit as minute so for every minute i'm going to allow only five requests so interval the combination of interval and time unit says how many requests has to be allowed all right so with these changes let's save so before save let's also uh, attach this policy in our flow so let's provide the name of our quota policy over here all right we have provided and let's also provide the base path for our proxy endpoint so i'm going to uh, name this as mock iphone api slash version one all right with these changes let's save this revision as a new one save as a new revision all right our new revision is saved and deployed in the test environment And let's navigate to overview tab and let's see whether our proxy endpoint is available so our proxy endpoint is available let's copy the link and let's flip to postman tool and provide the link so this is the uh, proxy endpoint and we'll have to provide uh, the base path so base path for our proxy endpoint is slash mock hyphen api slash v1 so let's also provide that and also provide the path which we have included so that is mock and with these changes let's send the request and let's see what we get it is uh, failed to resolve api key so we'll have to provide the api key in the headers so uh, which is expecting in the form of consumer key so let's copy the key name and provide it provide in the 